And I guess the, the title, the dream team, when applied to the American entry in the 1992 Olympics is best construed as, okay, it's, it's such a dream to have all of these amazingly talented players together on the same team at the same time. Well, that's a dream. But it isn't really as compelling a dream as the dream of freedom, the dream of independence, the dream of being liberated from social and political domination, the dream of being able to chart your own destiny and make your own choice tomorrow, something we take for granted. Yeah, that was a bigger dream. In 1992, the Dream Team made history as the greatest basketball team ever assembled. But at the same Olympics, there was a newly free nation chasing its own dream. Lithuania, a country of only three million people. These laikais mes buvom kažkaip mokomi ir mokomi gan skaudžiai, sakysim savo senelių tėvų patirtim, kad tokios kalbos, kad tai Lietuva, tai netarybų sąjunga, negalėjau būti mes tą viską jautėm. During the Soviet occupation, Lithuania's best athletes were forced to play for the Soviet sports machine. They came to practice, took me away. I understood that there's some meeting pro-Soviet support meeting, you know, so I just said I, I, I won't do it. And uh, they just start threatening that there'll be no Olympics for me. I guess that was the one time when I was, I was, I feared, you know, for, for my family, my family future. They didn't have the freedoms, you know, they did have to say often where they were going out. They had bed checks. Um, they were watched. Imagine Sabonis and Marshallonis having to compete for another country at the prime of their life when they have everything going for them and knowing full well that since 1940 the Russians have occupied and oppressed and just destroyed every bit of hope and dream that an entire country, their homeland, had ever even thought about. Despite 50 years of Soviet occupation, Lithuania never gave up its hope for freedom and never gave up its love for the game. And as the world changed, it was finally their time, with the help of a dedicated few. It's surreal. I mean, it's Jerry and Bobby, and Jerry sits there and he, you know, lights up what looked like a cigar. <laughs> He said, we're all about freedom and celebration, and that's what you guys are all about. And, and basically, we want to help you guys. A newly independent nation was finally on its way to Barcelona. All of a sudden, there's Lithuania coming out here, these guys in this little tiny country who had spent 52 years under the Russian machine. Freedom, let's go, let's dance, let's have a great time, and let's make threes in transition. If you were one of those rare Americans in 1992 was in some way put off by the whole dream team ethic, then it was an easy choice who you were going to root for, because there was this other team with a very hip, very sort of counterculture American connection, and you're rooting for the Grateful Dead. Can't be that. Lithuania battled all the way to the medal round to play its former oppressor for the bronze medal. All villages are watching, you know, people, no traffic on the streets, empty, empty Lithuania, you know, and you feel pressure like that, and, and all, all people watching, you know, we have to pay back Russians for us being sent to Siberia, you know, it's like all this political flavor. And when you come into the floor, you know, you have to, you have to play, and then, and, play against your old teammates. You, know, you have to destroy them. You know, really, you have to, you have to, at any cost, you have to win. An underdog in every sense of the word. A gritty team gave new hope to a nation. It was like a payback for those 50 years of occupation. The other dream team, the guys who came together against all odds. There was no chance for success, but they played the beautiful style. 
that selfless nature of we're doing something that's bigger than the game of basketball. We're doing something that's really important and it's going to make a difference. This is the greatest sports story you haven't heard. Finally, their accomplishments were going to be their own. Um, I mean, I don't think that any American could, could ever possibly connect to the meaning for those people. The first moment the Lithuanian flag went up. Were we another dream team? Yes, I, I think so.